Hello friends, this is Jigar from System Level Solution. In this video, I am going to cover about the Training Simulator Communication Hub Standard 420 Type TSCH installation and its app usage. The Training Simulator Communication Hub is used to provide training to an on-field installation engineer to install the communication hub with the meters. This is a Standard 420 Type TSCH. On the top, you will have the CHF ID, GPF ID and two LEDs for indicating the status. On the top you will have the battery switch and on the bottom you will have the IC HSI connector which fits to the meters and provide the 12 volt supply to the communication hub. In case if you do not have the meters and you would still like to power on the TSCH you can do that using the battery case provided on the left hand side. Install the 9 volt 6LR61 type battery like this. And Turn on the switch provided on the top of the case. It will start flashing the LEDs indicating that the TSCH is working. Now we will move on the application in the iPad. For that tap on the settings, tap on Wi-Fi and enable Wi-Fi. After enabling the Wi-Fi it will list out the TSCH with its CHF ID as you can see over here. Tap the listed TSCH and it gets automatically connected. Then press home button and tap on the TSCH 420 icon. As soon as you tap on 420 icon, it starts the application and display the information with help and start button. Tap on help, it lists out the various states of the LEDs indicating for various operation. Tap on back button to go back to the main page and tap on start button to start Connecting with the TSCH we have just turned on. It will ask you to proceed or go to the settings or cancel the dialog box. Tap on proceed to proceed with the TSCH. It will start synchronizing the scenarios with the hardware as well as in the application and list out them. Tap on start to start running the scenario on the TSCH as you can see over here. It starts running until you won't stop it from the application. Tap on stop to stop the running scenario. As soon as you stop, it will stop on the hardware. Tap on hub, it will list out the SSID, the TSCH type, firmware version, uptime, total number of scenario and running scenario if any. Tap on disconnect to disconnect the connected TSCH and go back to the main page. Now tap on help. It will list out the same information as we have seen earlier for the LEDs. So in this way, you can use this application to train the installation engineer to install the communication hub with the meters. Thanks for watching the video.